Are you recording this? This is an interesting uh, facts information here. So you got Defiance uh, announced one for three reverse. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to share the screen. And uh, so you got Defiance announced one for three. Oh, they're shooting artillery in the background. Yeah, you're gonna hear a lot of boom boom. So that's not. That's just that's just artillery in the background where I live. <laughs> Military base. All right, so Defiance. Yeah. Announced one for three reverse stock split at QQQY, JEPY, and IWMY ETF. So, essentially, these guys doing a reverse split. The current price right now, uh, sitting at oh, I'm sorry, the date is uh, one August. So that means in about two weeks. So the first week, the first week of August, this whole thing is changing. All right, so. So I got a thousand share of QQY and IWY. So this reverse split's gonna come down to about three hundred and thirty-three dollars and three and thirty-three dollar and the price essentially gonna be three times uh, fourteen. Um, let's just do the math here. So using today's number uh, time three. So it's come out to be about forty-three dollars. All right. So IWY is gonna be forty-three dollar, QQY is gonna be Somewhere around that ballpark, also forty-three dollars. So, uh, the good the good news about reverse split is that we all went through this already. the The dividends they still continue to pay high dividends, so uh, we're always getting money. So, a good in case is Tesla. Uh, now, Tesla hasn't paid its high dividend yet, so a dollar essentially is fifty cents. So, uh, once it pays sixty cents, eighty cents. Then I can say it's coming back. It got to pay eighty cents, then I can say it's back. All right. So we're looking at a dollar twenty to a dollar sixty in August. So uh, that's what we're looking for. But it's capable to do that. All right. Um, it it will never even hit a dollar if it didn't reverse split. So for those who don't understand how reverse split, if this if Tesla did not reverse split, this dividend payout would not be one dollar. It would say fifty cents because because everything is reversed, uh, and now you're paying two for one, so essentially this dividends, it's 50 cents, it's paying one dollar, right? It didn't make one dollar, it made 50 cents. Does that make sense? I might confuse somebody already. Um, so QQY, IWY, it's gonna be the same thing, so in the future, it's gonna pay, let's say this is 70 cents, it should pay a dollar 40, in the next fund, but I have 30, 333 share, so time it's essentially paid the same, uh, the same amount I get. So as income investor, these things gonna go up and down. They're gonna, they're probably gonna be reverse split two, three times in the lifetime. Like Tesla, that may happen two, three times in its lifetime. I say when it's lifetime, we're talking about a span over like 10, 20 years. So, uh, you know, so I'm not worried about it uh, because one thing we have in common is that we this thing is collecting income. As long as I get income, just think about two years from now, I'm still getting uh, $700, $800, $1,000, um, you know, from it. And at some point, it's good. It's almost kind of like, in a way, remind me of QYLD. So if you think about QYLD, um, all right, let me... Let me just pull QYLD real quickly here. QYLD is a very, very good example. Uh, QYLD been around since 2013. Well, I mean, this has been around for a long, long time. It got into its rhythm, paying 20 cents, 15 cents, uh, you, know, t you know, roughly 20 cents of dividends forever. I mean, 2021, 2022, 23, 24, and now it's around 17, 16 cents. We don't know where we don't know where the high yield dividends fall in the future. So it may it may settle at seventy cents, eighty cents, and uh, you know, in my opinion is somewhere around forty cents and eighty cents. That's somewhere the ballpark where it's at. Um, all these high yield dividends. So um, Amazon, NVD, everybody when it ra it's range bound to that price. That's just that's just my un skill untrained just based on my own you know just observation i have no scientific data I'm, I'm not looking this from a guy who's educated in this stuff just based on me owning this fund for a long long time now uh so 
at the end of the day, what we're doing is there's two plays when we buy these high yield dividend, high yield income. There are two things that you have to consider every single time. The first one is return on investment. When do you get your money back? The second one is is the dividend payout. That, you know, so as long as they're paying high dividend yield and dividend payout, uh, it's still above fifty percent or the amount that you're happy with, then then it's doing its job. It's as long as it's doing its job, then you I just leave the money alone. It doesn't mean I have to put any more money into it. Like I, I'm not planning to buy QQY anymore after I reach a thousand share. So when it reverse split to three hundred and thirty three share, why would I buy any more? So I, I, I have no plan to buy any more. I'm just gonna farm the hell out of it. I get my money on my first week and and what I do is I take my money and buy something else that's more beneficial. There's a whole bunch of funds out there. You have so many more choices now. You can diversify it. You don't need to own more than 1,000 share. I think 2,000 share is too much. Like Clip is 2,000 share, ULTY is 2,000 share. And that is a number that I'm happy with. You know, 3,000 share is way too much. Uh, so uh, the, the, that's it. You don't need to own a lot of share. Uh, you just own... You can just own 500 shares. Imagine you own 500 shares and then move on to something else, move on to something else. And all you do is harvest the income from it. Um, you know, the, the bottom line is this. I got to get my baseline to $10,000. As long as my baseline maintain the minimum of $10,000, it doesn't really matter what it move up and down. As long as the fund, my collect collective portfolio is getting $10,000, I'm happy. The moment it doesn't make $10,000, I'll sell out of it. I sell out of it. And it, uh, can you imagine your own QQY since 2013? You know how much money you made up to this point? It just, it is crazy. You made a lot of money already. A lot of money already. So whoever the owner of QQY, that guy is living hog heaven. He's happy. He's been collecting income this whole time for the last 10 years, more than 10 years. So yeah, kudos on him. Kudo on him. And it's going to be the same way for all of us here. Uh, these funds are going to be around for a long, long time. And um, and we just keep harvesting income on it. That's that's my take on it. Uh, does anybody see it differently on that? Um, yeah, anybody? Oh, hey. If, uh, if uh, you guys got nothing... Uh, it, no additional comments. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do my uh, portfolio review here and uh, and talk about what happened today and my purchase. Um, well, first of all, good to see everyone here. Uh, thank you all for coming. And uh, and I see a lot of new faces. All, always welcome. And um, hey, investment, investment, didn't matter. You buy growth. Uh, you buy high yield. It didn't matter what you buy. The word investment take time, and there's risk involved, and it's your <laughs> money. So those three elements exist <laughs> with the definition of investment. There's more, but those are three basic ones. So uh, yeah, it's going to take time, and uh, and 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 sometime it's going to take a couple of years. So hey, there's ways to speed it up, and that's what I'm. That's what I did, and I speed it up. So all right, so I, I'll t I'll talk to you about that a little bit here. Okay. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and start my portfolio review. Hey, good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And uh, today's date is Wednesday, July 17th. And the time right now is 17.53. And today, uh, today portfolio review, there's two major things that happened to my portfolio. First, the stock market. The stock market is just down hard. Uh, so my portfolio is down 3.85%. And uh, my total gain loss, I'm backed up to negative 17%. So let's take a look at the market here real quickly. All right, so, and right now, the S&P 500, uh, it's down 1.39. Now, this is post-market. The NASDAQ is down 2.77 cents. It's crazy. And Russell down 1%. I was talking to uh, Kobe earlier. He was like, he was surprised at QQQ. They, I think I forgot what he said. I think this was the first time 
in a long time he's seen QQQ drop this much. Um, you know, so let's go ahead and look at the QQQ. It dropped almost 3%, 481 dollars. So think about it. It came from it came from uh, as high as 500 dollars. Now it's 482 dollars. So it's it's uh, on a five-day forecast. And you look at three months forecast, uh, which is a little bit better. But five-day forecast is down almost three percent. Yeah. So the market is down. That means Tesla's down, MST are down, Coinbase is down. A lot of things is down. Okay. So why I mentioned those three? Because this is what happened to me today. I bought uh, ULTY. Okay. Right. So a lot of people. Uh, the first question people asked me was that why do you take thirteen thousand dollar and buy ULTY? That's how much I spent for ULTY. I bought a thousand share of ULTY. I spent thirteen thousand dollar and I bought it at uh, thirteen twenty four. Obviously, I pay a little bit more for it. There's no way to know. You can't predict the future. All you can do is just do the best you can. And I was nickel and dime it this morning uh, during opening uh, during the opening uh, at seven o'clock trading. And uh, the best I did during the time was 13.24. Of course, when the bell rang at 09.30, it dropped all the way to 12.80 something. Yeah, it's crazy. So in other words, if I just wait until the bell rang, it probably went down. But it also could do the opposite. And 13.24 may be the best price. And now sitting at, you know, at 13.40, 13.50, it could be the opposite. I, I have seen it both ways. I have went through both ways. Uh, so it, there's no way if I can predict the future, obviously I'd be super rich, you know, but there's no way to know. Now, some people hindsight, they're all like, well, I knew it. Everybody knew it's coming. No, you don't. No, you don't. Otherwise you'd be rich too. And you're not watching my YouTube channel. <laughs> so, uh, it's just, Hey, it's just crap shoot. It's, it's like literally it. Um, all right. So with $13,000, why did I buy ULTY? Why don't you just take money and buy uh, Misty by Coney and stuff like that. You got to understand during the time, the market wasn't dropping like the way it, it is. By the time I realized it dropped, I already bought uh, ULTY. So it wasn't even a, a thought. It, it's part of a planning process. I had a plan. I'm going to consolidate. I'm going to buy ULTY. That was the plan. Now, I was willing to go with a branch plan. The branch plan is I'm going to buy Misty and Coney because I'm trying to get that up, to get them to a thousand share. I don't need to get ULTY a thousand share because I already have a thousand share. Uh, so this is going from happy to glad. But Coney and Misty need to get to a thousand share. So the need is higher, but why I didn't buy it. So there's a couple of factors. Number one, um, the reason is uh, I'm not, this is not new money. A lot of people keep thinking I'm mo moving $13,000 from somewhere else. It's not new money. It's the same money. It's 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 the money that's just sitting in my portfolio. So what happened? It was sitting in SQY, sitting TSLP, sitting in YMAX, YMAX, now all this fun. Uh, essentially, there's about ten thousand dollars worth of it, and I spend about two thousand dollar. That's it. That's that's how much I spend two thousand dollar, in addition to that ten thousand dollars. So uh, essentially. Uh, well, a little more than two thousand, so total about thirteen thousand dollar. So I spend, uh, and it's more than ten thousand. It's almost eleven thousand dollar when I sold everything. So about eleven thousand dollar plus, you know, the two thousand dollar something turned out to be about thirteen something, and that's what I used to buy ULTY. Okay, so the problem is those amount was paying me like sixty cents, thirty cents, forty cents. I just consolidated now. ULTY paid me. You know, so far, ULTY paid me a dollar or more. So, so I just consolidated to a higher dividend. So that's number one. Number two, ULTY gave me 30% margin maintenance, okay? And all the other funds, TSLP, gave me 100% margin maintenance. So I get no margin from that. Um, and other, the other fund gave me 50%. So I move 100%, 50% to a 30% margin maintenance. So I improve my margin. Even though I spend $2,000... By moving all those money into ULTY, I actually, my margin buffer is a lot more now. Uh, I have more than $30,000 of margins buffer now. Before I had less than $30,000, but now I have more than 30, I have like 37,000, right? 35 to 37,000 right now of buffer space. So in case, in case, you know, yeah, you know, the automated margin call now is even more remotely slim. Now, 30, 
the thirty thousand dollars a lot of buffer and and so um now i got even more buffer you know in, in space of it all right so that's the good news so that's that's why i didn't do it. okay the the other main thing why i didn't buy coney and misty is that the average fund that i sold i don't even remember my excel spreadsheet i did yesterday the average fund was about 20 something dollars okay so when you combine it all together about 20 dollars all right well i'm taking 20 dollars to buy something that's 13 dollars all right so every purchase i'm essentially get more share out of that money so if i take thirteen thousand dollar and i buy misty uh for example misty would be at 28 dollars uh well during the time it was like let's say let's say 28 30 i'm just gonna make up all right let's see i'm gonna see how many share i got thirteen thousand dollar divide by 28 30. so I, I got about 459 share that's perfect i would i would Get Misty to a thousand share right off the bat, yeah, and I, everything would have been perfect. Of course, I would get more money and stuff like that. So, yeah, in hindsight, it, it was a good plan. I I could have done that, but the problem is Misty is sitting the second week, and my second week is heavy already. My third week is not heavy. I want I have this weekly plan. I want to grow the weekly plan so this way it's balanced out. Now, a lot of people like, man, those weekly plan is what hindering you. Well, yeah, and then so be it. It's my portfolio. You know, it's so be it. I want to get paid weekly. You may not want to get paid weekly, but I want to get paid weekly. So now I get $2,000 in third week. And um, and so it, it, gave me, it gave me option. It gave me whatever. So you you got to understand, I am not planning to do, I'm not planning to keep doing, I'm planning to take the money and spend and live in it. All right, so, all right. Yeah, so, um, yeah, it was it would have been a tough decision, and um, and well, guess what? It's never too late. Um, so here here's what happened in the future, because I'm always constantly consolidating, constantly rebounds, constantly uh, looking at portfolio and continue to improve my portfolio. Right now, based on the current setup here, I already made ten thousand dollars a month. Ten thousand dollars a month. So before you criticize me, the first question I ask is, do you want $10,000 a month? Do you like $10,000 a month? If you don't want $10,000 a month, you don't care about $10,000 a month, then I uh, criticize me all you want. Remember, I put $93,000 into this portfolio and I'm making $10,000 a month for the rest of my life. You know, and I'm always going to get $10,000 a month. And you're going to like, well, your dividend's going to down, this thing's going to reverse split or whatever. Dude, it hasn't done that. So whatever you say, it hasn't done it. All right. So when until it until it happened, then I'll say okay. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna milk it and enjoy the money because it hasn't come down. All right. And so I'm continue to make money. So think about every month, I'm making ten thousand dollars a month of income. All right. Every month. So so far, uh, Charles Schwab hasn't updated this yet. Oh, um, I. I, I was going to log into Dividend Tracker and show to you, but let me see if I can do that real quick. Uh, I'm going to open. All right. All right. Awesome. So let me put it back in here. Give me a second. I just log in and then. All right, so here's my dividend tracker. I updated a little bit today, and I just want to show you. So I uh, got AIYY, Coney, IWNY, Clip, MSCY, QQY, Tesla, ULTY. So I updated with the new ULTY 2000 share, and uh, let's go look at the dashboard. Okay, so guess what? Uh, in my dashboard, it showed that in July, uh, July is $10,000. This is really August because July is done. Uh, my yield on cost went up to 60%. My dividend yield is 73%. And my portfolio goal is met. I don't have a current portfolio goal right now. Um, I should add one. So let me see if I can click on it. Add dashboard share disable. What the heck? All right. I shouldn't have done that. 
Anyway, my portfolio, my, my portfolio goal for dividend tracker was $10,000. I met that. So the next goal is to get to $12,000 by December. So $11,000 somewhere by October and then $12,000 by December. So that's the next goal. Uh, remember, anything after $10,000, I'm taking the money out. So when I make $11,000, I'm taking money out. When I make $12,000, I'm take, make, taking money out. But my portfolio is always going to grow, but I'm always going to take my money out. All right? So when I get to $13,000, I'm going to take my money out. $14,000, take my money out. So essentially, every two months, I make about $1,000. Because every month at ten thousand dollars, I make roughly about five hundred dollars. Okay, yeah, it's all depend what I buy, but I make about five hundred dollars. So, and then every two months, I should be able to withdraw another thousand dollars out from that. So, essentially, by the summer of next year in twenty twenty five, I should have about four or five thousand dollars withdrawal out of this uh, baseline every month. Um, now, the fastest way to grow my portfolio to get to 20000 is to put all that money in back. I don't need to withdraw it. But, you know, like I said, at some point, you got to spend the money. Well, I mean, you invest so you can make money, so you can live off it, so you can enjoy the money. If you're always putting the money back, you're always reinvesting, you're always constantly reinvesting. At some point, you're like, okay, when are you going to see the fruit of your labor? So this is going to my second year. I, you know what? I am good. I, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, going to my third year. Uh, in January will be my third year. So, yeah. Wow. Wow, time go by so fast. <laughs> oh, my God, I have to think a little bit. And, uh, yeah, so uh, at some point, you got to withdraw the money. I'm withdrawing the money. So I'm going to withdraw the money until I reach $20,000 a month. Okay, so why $20,000 a month? Because I make $10,000 a month. This is my baseline. I'm never going to touch this money. I'm never going to go below. I'm never going to take the withdrawal. Never, I, I don't need, in other words, if I don't do anything with my portfolio, all I, all I need to do is do maintenance. Do my, I just do a maintenance. You know, like I'm trying to build Coney up, build Misty up, you know, just maintenance. When I pay Coney and Misty up, it will balance the QQY for coming down. It balance for Clip to coming down. And then I will, I will throw more money into Feppy for the fourth week. I will throw, you know, now I don't have a second week backup, but I will get a backup for second week. Um, you know, like QQY and IWM, they support each other, you know, to make sure that I always get a certain amount of money. And so this portfolio right here is going to be a $10,000 base portfolio. And eventually it's going to grow to $20,000 base portfolio. And uh, But I will never going to touch that core fund. That core fund always going to give me $10,000. And... And I'm going to work my way to $20,000. Can I get $20,000 by, by the summer of uh, 2026? Can I get to that amount? I don't know. That's the goal. If I can get to $20,000 and with plus with $10,000 withdrawal. So it's going to be seamlessly. So what happened is every money I withdraw, I'm paying all the bills. I'm paying all the bills by June, by June of 2026 uh, when I no longer work. Um, or May, May, June, whatever, somewhere around, you know, 2026. It could be January, it could be whatever. But by by uh, 2026, I no longer work. All my bill is paid off. And so when all the bills paid off, I got more income from the bill. So let's say, for example, I'm paying $1,000 a month to car payments. Once that car payment's paid off, guess what? That's That $1,000 I normally pay the car payments, it's going to go back into my, my life. So that will be the $10,000 that is essentially my job replacement. The baseline money it will always make money. So now I have, uh, have 10,000 baseline, $10,000 life, life, uh, uh, life payments or lifestyle payments, I guess what you call it. Uh, that is gonna be paying for uh, my salary. Yeah, that's essentially my salary, $10,000. Now, I'm gonna take the baseline, the new, you know, now it would be $21,000, $22,000 a month of dividends. So that, that $21,000, all right, the, the, the $1,000 after 20000 that is what I used to invest. That is what I'm going to buy and try to grow my portfolio even more. Uh, grow, um, you know, I don't know, I'm probably going to, you know, go into option trading and stuff like that. That's the money you see in Robin Hood. You're going to grow in those things. Uh, now, I have a different plan for Robin Hood, and eventually it's going to merge and meet up in 2026. 
And we'll talk about Robin Hood's some other video, but there's a plan for Robin Hood and there's a plan for this. So they're going to meet up in 2026 because in 2026, I'm going to have dividends money from my income fund go into Robin Hood. Uh, you know, there's income feeding into it. And then Robin Hood money, it's, they have its own income, its own generation through option trading and all that stuff. So it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to work out really, really well, I'm hoping. Uh, by that time, I'm not working. I'm just chilling, uh, and I'm probably making YouTube video, drinking pi pina uh, pina colada or margaritas, and uh, and just enjoying life. And uh, and I probably sell T-shirts, you know. And uh, so that's that's the goal. All right. So that is, I am I am there. I am at ten thousand. So the next thing I got to do is I got to go to YouTube. I got to change my banner. Um, I'm not going to do this until August. Uh, so in August, I'm going to change my banner here. I'm going to put $10,000 $10, Passive Income Club. I made it. And then, uh, and then I'm going to go to uh, Discord. I'm going to change my tag. Um, and, then I'm going to, and then also I'm going to you know, join for the first time the $10,000 Club. Now, like I said, I'm going to do this in August, I'm, I, right until it becomes official. All right, so that is my portfolio. Okay, so what, what did happened today uh ulty holy cow man um yeah i mean this thing came down to 1280 and i paid 1324 for it and uh that's it and i hope it come back if it doesn't come back it's great so remember i mentioned uh tesla mstr and coinbase were down well those three funds make up 15 percent of their portfolio and and those are three popular funds and guess what and they're down hard and that's one of the reasons why ULTY is down. But when those three funds go back up, and I'm absolutely confident ULTY is going to go back up too. And, uh, and then, of course, not only that, the dividend is going to pay really well also. Um, yeah, so I, I am absolutely confident. I have a lot of faith in ULTY. And if it's continue to go down and continue to reverse split like, Q, like QQY and IWNY, like Tesla, eh, it's okay. No big deal. I'm just harvesting income. Just think about this. Next year, in May of next year, the first 1,000 will be paid. Uh, in August of next year, the second 1,000, which is, you know, will be paid off. So I will get all my money back. So because it's paying close to 100% yield, anytime you have anything close to 100% yield, you only need one year to get your return on investment. Uh, so I'm excited about it, and essentially growing that. Hey, okay. so now I can just focus it. But I got tons of margin cash to spare. Okay, you notice I don't have NVD here. All right, so this is what's happened. I'm gonna, this is what I'm going to do in August. In August, uh, I'm going to take the QQY, IWM money. I don't know how much they paid. Whatever money they paid, I'm going to combine that uh, with clip money. And then I'm going to use that to buy uh, probably Coney. I'm going to try to get Coney to 1,000 share. All right, in August, I'm going to buy 200 share. Bam, done. Coney going to reach to 1,000, all right? And the rest of the money I'm going to buy Misty. Now, if Misty price go up too high, right now it's my cost average. Let's say if it go 29, I still buy it. If it go 30, I may still buy it. But let's say let's say three weeks from now, it's going to be sitting at uh, $35. Then I'm not going to buy it. I'm going to move that money down to buy bid. I'm going to move that money down to buy bid and buy because my cost this is below my cost average. Uh, if it's below seventeen ninety four or below eighteen dollars, then I put money into white bid and grow that, and just keep growing that. And I live to fight another day for Misty. I would love to own Misty uh, to a thousand share. It's no big, no rush, no hurry. All right. If well, for whatever reason, if Misty and Coney come down, which is the priority? Yeah, whichever come down the most, then priority would be Misty, Coney, and white bid. Those three. But but remember, my standard practice: I buy a hundred share of of. Uh, uh, the first ETF, 50 share, the second ETF, uh, 50 share, third ETF. That's what I do with my money every single month, the bare minimum. All right, so that bare minimum is going to go in there. I'm going to buy that. All right. So, but I still have margin. That's what I'm using the dividends money. Remember, I told you I'm making $10,000 a month. That's what I use the dividend money to pay. Uh, when, when you do that, I only spend like $3,000. So, what do you do with the rest of the money? All right. Well, I'm withdrawing $2,000 from it. What do you do with the rest of the money? Well, the rest of my sit in the margin. Oh, hey, I got plenty of margin room, plenty of margin space. I'm still waiting to buy NVD, right, the next big one. 
So if Yield Boost come out with NVIDIA at $20, I might be able to still buy it at $20, okay? If, if, if NVD, because right now there's a geopolitical issue with uh, chip maker and stuff like that, in August, and that NVD price, let's say NVD, NVIDIA, Let's say NVIDIA dropped to like $90, okay? I'm just making that up. And let's say NVIDIA also dropped uh, from 26 to $21 or $22, okay? Uh, let's, say, let's say $21. I'm just making that number up. $21 is close enough. The choice between Yield Boost and NVIDIA, I would take that $20,000. I would just buy NVIDIA and get a 1,000 share and call it a day. If it's still sitting around $26 when Yield Boost come out, uh, i probably going to buy the Yield Boost version of it and get a 1,000 share and call it done. And then, and the good news is Yield Boost is fourth week. So now my fourth week is covered. I got payment on first week. I got a lot of payment on second week. I got $2,000 in third week with ULTY. And now I, I'm going to buy Yield Boost. Guess what? Uh, I'm going to get another $1,000 from it, and that will bring my... Uh, my uh, dividend payout on the fourth week to be a uh, uh, $2,000. Now, if Clip ever bounce back because I have 2,000 share, if Clip ever pay 80 cents, holy cow, I'm going to be making good money. If Clip ever pay back a dollar again, I'm going to make $2,000. But right now, Clip is just sucking her. It's just so paying 45 cents. That's okay. You can't win them all, but I'm, 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 I'm here to ride the long wave and just collecting income for, for a long, long time, and that's, that's my game plan. Um, yeah, so if you have any question, you can come and talk to me all, anytime in Discord. Um, right now, right now I have plenty of time in Discord because, um, you know, so I'm, I'm on Discord pretty much all the time right now, but eventually I'm not, you know, because I can't, because I'm going to be working. I'm going to be, like, li literally busy, busy, busy. All right, so, yeah, it's just enjoy the time and uh, enjoy the, the conversation. So how do you join me in Discord? All you do is come to the YouTube channel, click on this Discord link, and kabam, you're in it, and you have conversation with me. You don't have to have conversation with me. You have tons of conversation with tons of people. All right, uh, does anybody have any question, uh, question on my portfolio review? Because then I'm going to switch to uh, option trading. I want to show... Uh, Tempest is the Tempest option trading, uh, basic option trading.